Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of comparing fractions. This is standard 3.3H in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 41 off the 2016 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, and then unpause it and we will look at our answers together. So we have two different, uh, these are supposed to be walls here. It says Lily is painting two identical walls. The models are shaded. That's going to be important for us. Shaded to represent the fraction of each wall that is painted purple. And so as you can tell, we've got um, fractions on each wall. Let's take a look at what each part of our fraction is going to represent. So the numerator in this case is going to be the shaded portion and that's why I underlined that term shaded uh, rather than unshaded. We'll see when we look at our answer selections why it's important to know what is the numerator selecting. It's, in this case it's the number of shaded bricks, sometimes it's the pieces of a cake, sometimes it's blue pieces. Always look to see what the numerator is going to be. They'll typically tell you in a problem. The denominator is going to most likely always stay the same no matter what type of fraction you're looking for and that's the total pieces. Now this is the total pieces for each wall because we're looking at each wall separately. So we're not looking at a total of 12 pieces, we're looking at six because each wall has six. So this is going to be sixths and this is going to be sixths. And so if we're looking at the numerator for each, we would see that we've got one, two, three pieces over here on this left wall, and we just have one piece or one brick over here on the right wall. And so now we need to figure out which of these comparisons is true. And we're looking at greater than, less than, or equal to. Well, we've got this A right here, and this is wrong for multiple reasons. And let me write it a little bit bigger here. 3 6 equals 5 6. First off, that's incorrect because 3 6 is equal to 3 6. If we wanted to make an equivalent fraction for 3 6, we can find another fraction that's equal to it. But if you have the exact same denominator, 6, 3 pieces cannot be equal to 5 pieces. That's the problem right there. If the denominator is the same, the numerators have to be the same for it to be equal. Secondly, you notice this 3 6 can be right here, but this 5 6, where do you think this 5 6 come from? This 5 6, that's the unshaded. So they gave you the wrong fraction. And I guess this 3 6 could be shaded or there's 3 6 unshaded. But that's what makes this one tricky, is they're looking at the unshaded. But remember, we're looking for the shaded. So A is wrong many different ways. So B, we've got 3 6 and 1 6. So let's just at least put a question mark right there. Let's put a question mark right there. I want to take a look at this one because we've got the 3 6 and we've got the 5 6. Now, this is wrong for a few reasons. Number one, we've got the same fractions, 3 6 and 5 6. But... Once again, this 5 does not represent the shaded. It represents the unshaded. So that makes it incorrect. But let's even pretend that it's right. Let's say we do need to be looking at 5 sixths. This symbol right here is the wrong symbol. That says greater than. And 3 sixths is not greater than 5 sixths. 3 sixths is going to be less than 5 sixths because, remember, the opening always goes goes towards the bigger fraction. So if we had this, maybe this would work. But remember that 5 is the wrong numerator. So that's incorrect. So we are stuck with B and D, and they both have the correct fractions. They both have your 3 6, and they both have the 1 6. The only difference here is we have a greater than and a less than. Remember, I know that this says less than because it could be turned into an L if it's rotated a little bit. So which one is bigger? Well, the 3 6 is bigger, and our opening always goes towards the bigger fraction because 3 pieces is always going to be greater than 1 piece if the denominators are the same, which they are. So our answer is not going to be D. 3 6 is not less than 1 6. It is greater. Answer is B.